So does anyone else here have fond memories of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie way back in the 90s or 80s? That incredible movie and the one and only fantastic game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Watching the new trailer brought me all sorts of nostalgia. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Nintendo Switch Pro rumor that could implicate that the Nintendo Switch Lite and the original Nintendo Switch will stop production altogether. We'll also be talking about why Nintendo would want to do this. And today we have a second topic too, which is the return of a classic game in a new way which I am very excited for. Especially considering that this is a perfect game for a portable handheld like the Nintendo Switch. But before we start, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on the video and tell me what you think about the new TMNT game and the Nintendo Switch rumors, of course. The comments, likes, and especially the shares on your social media really help make YouTube push these videos. And if you have a Twitter, follow me at RoboRob93. We are just 35 followers away from my one year goal of 400 followers. We already smashed 10,000 subs on YouTube, let's smash that Twitter goal. And with that being said, let's get to the video. So Nintendo has been on a roll with the Nintendo Switch. Whatever you think of the console, you have to admit that it has been a giant success. The Nintendo Switch has passed a lot of the previous console sales and will most likely be one of the most selling, if not the best selling Nintendo console of all time. I mean, it's even outselling some of the newer consoles, though that could be a supply problem, of course. That being said, Nintendo has had some Nintendo Switch games that are runnable, yes, but have poor resolution or have poor frame rate or both. So naturally, a Nintendo Switch Pro would likely be the next move, which is probably why we have been seeing so many rumors on the Nintendo Switch Pro. Please remember guys, it's still a rumor for now. But when it comes to the Nintendo Switch Pro, there's one thing I didn't really think about and that's what's gonna happen to the original Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. You know what, let me rephrase that sentence a little bit differently. What's gonna happen to the production of the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite? My thinking was that Nintendo would have one ecosystem and the Switch games will be playable on the Pro and the Switch Lite and the original Nintendo Switch. Again, assuming these rumors are true that is, we still don't know. But this newest rumor implicates that there could be a possibility that it might not be the case. The newest Nintendo rumor, which really isn't about the Switch Pro technically, it's more about the Nintendo Switch and the current models that are out right now. It says that sources who spoke with a gaming website called Game Reactor says that the Tegra X1 Mariko will end production in 2021. Now keep in mind that this is the very same year that the Nintendo Switch Pro is rumored to come out. Now this could be one of two things. The first thing could be that Nintendo is stopping production of the original Nintendo Switch and Switch light and will make new versions of both of those, which would be a Switch Pro and maybe a Switch Pro Lite. To give an example, Nintendo did this with the 3DS and 2DS, bringing in the new 3DS and the new 2DS. The second goes into the fate of the current users. The first thing that came to mind was that Nintendo was not going to support the current users, but then I, I quickly realized that would be a very dumb business practice. It makes zero sense to cut off that much players, especially when we know that it's still growing and will most likely have more players when the Switch Pro comes out. I mean, think about it. If Nintendo were to go with these new models and not support the massive install base that they have grown with the Nintendo Switch with the newest Marios and newest Zeldas and the newest IPs, they would be losing a massive amount of revenue potential while pissing off their player base, which would even further affect the sales. When you think about it, it would be pretty catastrophic for Nintendo, a company whose only platform is the Nintendo Switch and doesn't have another handheld like they had with the Wii U and the 3DS. The Wii U wasn't really doing much in sales, but they had the 3DS to push them along. Now Nintendo Nintendo has to be careful with what they're doing so they don't have to have just one console that's failing. They don't have that 3DS to back them up. So I don't think Nintendo will stop support for the original Nintendo Switch, but if this rumor comes true, the original Nintendo Switch may be phased out in favor of a newer Nintendo Switch. But I think we'll still see support for those Switches with the same games as the new consoles have, aside from a few exclusives just like the 3DS. Or new 3DS, I mean, the new 3DS. Now for those who are not interested in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but are interested in the Zelda 35th anniversary, click the top right corner of this video, and you'll learn on how we might see it celebrated very soon, and if not, let's talk about some retro gaming news. 
So if you're around my age, which is 28, you probably have some memories of the arcade games or even games back on the SNES or N64. In fact, even though I'm 28, my first console was the Atari, which is weird but cool at the same time. But among a lot of the classic retro beat-em-ups like your Streets of Rage and Battletoads, one game that always stuck with me personally is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time. I think the most thing I remember from that game was the throwing mechanic where you would throw enemies at the screen. I remember thinking that was pretty cool. Now Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has had a long history history of some pretty poor games, a lot of hit and misses with more misses than hits. This goes for a lot of revivals and any other things that belong to Cartoon Network or even Nickelodeon or any kind of property, but I think this next one you might be excited for. So if you haven't heard, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game was announced called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. And at first I thought, oh it's gonna be another one of those games, the property licensed games like your Amazing Spider-Man 2s and whatnot. But no, the trailer for this game actually really hooked me and upon looking more into it, it, I was really excited and on board. And get this, some of the devs from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game also are working on this game. Now me personally, I haven't played the game yet, but I've heard so much about this game on how good it is. And apparently they were responsible for the throwback game of Street of Rage 4 as well. As for the story of the game, this is what the description says. With Bebop and Rocksteady assaulting Channel 6 and stealing super gnarly devices to support Craig and Shredder's latest twisted plan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge sees the turtle battling across a righteous range of timeless TMNT locations, from Manhattan to Coney Island, the city rooftops, and the dank sewers. Help the fearsome foursome trounce foot soldiers, Tyrannosaurus warriors, and rock troops, all the way to Dimension X. Now this game looks just like Turtles in Time. It even has the whole throw of the character to the screen mechanic. The way the enemies die, the way the enemies are set up, the way the screen looks, just everything feels and moves so close to the original game, from my memory at least. Now as far as what console this game is coming to, there really isn't any news on that yet, but considering it's a retro inspired game, I think the Nintendo Switch, PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, the whole shebang, it, it shouldn't miss any consoles or any platforms. With that being said, let's move on to the comment section of the day, a section of the video where I take your comments or questions from the comment section and answer them or give my thoughts. If you want your comments to appear, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below along with the tagline that you see on the screen right now with the space after it so I can find the question in the search bar. So we have two questions here and the first one that I found is from Chi Rio and he asks this, was the Switch Pro even announced? So the Nintendo Switch Pro hasn't been announced, but if you factor in some of the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors and E3 2021 coming up, it's not too far of a stretch to see Nintendo announcing the Switch Pro at E3 2021, and then announce a release date for it on the holiday season along with maybe Breath of the Wild 2. This is if the rumors are true, and even if they are, Nintendo could always end up releasing it later that season or later that year. Holiday 2021 isn't necessarily going to be the release date because we saw the original Nintendo Switch release in March if I recall. Like always, you can never tell what Nintendo's thinking, so be careful when believing rumors or just having some expectations on what you believe is going to happen. Happen. And next up is New G Nintendo World Gaming, and he says if. And next up is New G Nintendo World Gaming, and he says what if there is no Zelda Direct? So this is something that is honestly very possible if some of the speculation surrounding Zelda's 35th anniversary does come true, and it is marketing that's the reason why we didn't have it at that last Nintendo Direct. That could mean that Nintendo may not have a separate Direct for Zelda's 35th anniversary, just like Super Mario's 35th anniversary, and they just may show it off like another game that they would in a regular Nintendo Direct, just like The Legend of Zelda Skyward. Sword. And that's all for today guys, this video is actually getting pretty long and I don't want to stick around too long to waste your time. That's all for today guys, make sure you leave those comments for the next one and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Roborob Gaming for more gaming news, leaks, and rumors. Thanks for watching guys and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.